Hi Flosstube, it's Janet, Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 154. If you're new to my channel, this is a channel about cross stitch, so I hope you're in the right place. If you're a returning friend, thank you so much for coming to spend some time with me this week. Um, I love and appreciate you all so much, and I don't think I tell you that enough. So um, I look forward to our visits as much as so many of you comment that you look forward to my visits. So um, we're gonna jump in. I totally missed that, I think it was September 3rd, I could be wrong, um, was my three year floss tube anniversary. So um, yay, we've been doing this and hanging out for three years, that's pretty awesome. So um, I also want to thank you so much for all the love and all the um, condolences for my Ellie. Um, and then what a uh, little knife there. Uh, today, Facebook reminded me that it was eight years ago that we picked up our precious little Ellie um, and rescued her from a family that was uh, not wanting or willing to continue to take care of her. So, yeah, but she's a gentle little lover and lives on. So thank you for all of your love and um, condolences for the loss of Elliot. Yes, losing an animal is very hard. It changes the whole dynamic of the house. Um, my remaining two dogs are struggling and having, one of them's having a behavioral issue, but we'll work through it. Um, they, dogs grieve too. So, um, all right, jumping into other stuff, which is cross stitches, which is what you're here for. I had a question on one of my last floss tube and it was, um, how long have um, I been stitching on my Mira Queens? So to sum that up, and you're probably hearing my other behavioral issue dog drinking right now, sorry. Um, to sum that up, in 2020, I did Mira May. So I started five of my queens during the month of May, and then I didn't touch it again until 2021. And in 2021, I um, started the seasonal stitching. So 2021, 2022, I've been seasonal stitching on them. So in other words, the queens during their season, I stitch on them. Um, you may be asking what the fifth queen was. The fifth queen was my queen of freedom. And um, I did really good with her at the beginning of the year where I, every month I got 500 stitches and then I fell off. So I'll get back to her. She's beautiful. I love her. Um, yeah. <laughs> so um, that is that. I have one big announcement that I want to give to a good friend, Stitch and Button. I'm going to put her name here. And you can find her on um Facebook, she's got a group, and on Instagram, but I'm sharing with you, I'm popping a picture in here um, of the 12 days of Christmas bag slash box bundle that she's got going on. She only has 20 spots left. This is the first time she's doing this. Um, Vicki at uh, Stitch and Buttons, a pretty awesome character. She has amazing bags, and if you um, have been, feel like you were late to the game and missing out on something, 12 days of Christmas, uh, I jumped in on that and I'm super excited to see what she curates and puts together for that. So, um, that is that. All right, let's jump into some, some logistics that I handle here. First of all, if you are new or you have not filled out my happy mail, it's in the links below. Um, I use my happy mail form for sending out happy mail once a month and we're into a new month. So I would imagine within the next week to 10 days, I will be sending out happy mail. Um, I also have two other links in the link below, and I would like to thank Fran and Pat for graciously giving to my Buy Me A Coffee or the Kofi link that are in the description box below. That just allows me to help with um, the mailings of my giveaways because my most of my giveaways have generously be, been donated by um, fellow stitchers. So we'll talk about more of that in the haul because I have some of that generous um, giveaway stuff at the very end um, for my, well, not the very end, but in, during my mail and haul section. So um, there's that. And then another segment that we like to do on here, you guys love it so much, is my featured friend. So this week's featured friend is Chrissy. Now Chrissy and I get together once a month and stitch on our under the sea sow, but she also is a She's got a lot of finishes right now. So we're gonna share the one that she's got. Uh, it's October, a year of mugs by Cross Stitch Wanders. I'm gonna put that across here if you're interested in it. So this is super cute. How cool is that to do um, 
a mug every single month. That's kind of cool. So thank you for sharing that, Chrissy. And I got your other ones in the queue also. So everyone loves seeing these. So thank you very much for sharing. Um, all right. So I did mention that I am at the three-year mark. And so I am doing, I do giveaways. Like it feels like every other week around here, but I don't really keep track. I just, sometimes I need to wait and catch up on mailing. So I, I hold a week, but enough of that. I have six giveaways this week. No special word. Just tell me one, two, three, you'll see the number. So tell me what number you're interested in and you'll be entered to win that. So number one is, um, Jordan Purvey's. Is that, is that how you say it? No, Jordan Purvey. Brenda Gervais wordplay for September. This is number one. Sorry for the glare. Um, we got weird lighting situations today. It's like overcast. Um, but it still wants to be warm. Um, Satsuma Street's Pumpkin King Nutcracker. This is number two. This has got the perforated paper and the floss and beads with it. Number three is a, a company called Not to Tree. And this is Prance. You could do that one reindeer and not put the word Prancer. Number four is a Raise the Roof. And this is an out of, uh, out of business company. Is that what you say? Um, from 2015 and this is number four and it's called Happy Grouchy, Little Cats. Number five is Sisters Are the uh, Sisters and Best Friends, Pansy Sampler Hope. And number six is the Primitive Hair, Primitive Hair, Miss Mary Margaret Wool. That is number six. All right, I haven't mentioned rules in a while on here, so just as a reminder, um, you have, I, I would prefer you to be subscribed to my channel, um, 18 or older, so I can legally get your address. Do not say the word giveaway in the comments below. And if for something was to happen in the mailing of these, um, there's mo no monetary value in regards to, I won't replace it. Um, I only have one copies of these, so. So there is that. So if you get it, if you're interested in one of those giveaways, Put the number that you're interested in in the comments below and um, we'll get that drawing next week. So let's give that a shot. All right, so we're here to get into my stitching now. So I have finishes, I have old finishes, I have whips, let's do this. All right, um, my first finish is an old finish. This is my banner that I did for my mom. Um, feels like a bazillion years ago. I think, have I ever said, I didn't date them. So anyway, September, so many people relate to school days or Apple or back to school. So this is a super cute finish on a, of a banner and um, specialty stitches on there. I can see that row and that row. Yeah, like that row, that row, and that row are all specialty stitches. So that was fun. That was super cute. That is an old finish. I try not to make noise and I do every time. All right, I have, I got into my craft room yesterday over the weekend and was super excited to do these crafts. So um, these are the Frosted Pumpkins and it's like sayings, I think. I don't know what the, its title is, but there's like a bunch of seasonal ones. So um, these originally, two of these, I had originally made into cubes and I just didn't like how it turned out. So I disassembled them and I made them into flats. So this first one is a flat that was done for um, Valentine's, of course, hugs and kisses and candy wishes. I love how this turned out. So I like when I disassembled it, I reused the fabric that I had on there and this. Um, I don't have the back of it finished finished, so just fold it over, glued, yay. My second one is for the month of March, Lucky and Clover and Green all over. I like these so much better as this little flat that could just like lean on display. I got, this is a new finish. So not a refinish, a new finish. April flowers bring, or April showers bring May flowers. Jeez, Janet. I love the color that I chose for the, around this one. And last but not least, um, this is kind of like June, summer kind of things. I got to tuck a string and summer, summer shore and waves galore. And again, I love the fabric I chose on this, so. I did a good job. And then I went ahead and cut out all the foam bore and all of the, um, this is like, I actually used the, that comic board stuff so many people use for wrapping their um, 
fabrics, which I do too, but I just use that as this piece and then this is foam work. So see the thickness difference? Yeah. Um, so I have like eight more, I think seven or eight more to stitch up. So um, I went ahead and cut all of that. So when I finish them, I'm ready to just slap them together. That sounds good, right? I'm very bad at finishing all the time. So I have a feeling that's going to be a 2023 goal. All right, so that is those. And then my next one is a finish for now. This is the picture and it's the Under the Sea by the Frosted Pumpkin. I stitch it with Chrissy. When it releases, we pick a day afterwards and stitch together. And um, this is stitched on 16 count through the stones by Be Stitch Me. And this is where I'm at. Doo -doo -doo. So this top border and down the edges is what the release was this time. And it's not perfect. I have some ex, uh, mess ups in there, but um, I just go with it. Some things I just go with, some things I need to fix. My mirrors, I need to fix when ish, try to. You've heard that debacle if you've been here before. Um, this pile is kind of big, so I'm trying to like figure out where to get rid of things. <laughs> All right, so. What I show you next is my whips. So my work's in progress. I feel a little off today, I don't know why. So my work's in progress. My Mirabilia, my queen, my summer queen. She is stitched on, I keep, I keep getting my neck. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. Um, a 28 count Lugana love letter by Collar and Cotton. That hurt. Um, and I am happy where she's at. Okay, I'm gonna try to put a picture up here where she was. And this is where she's at. I hope I succeeded at this picture thing. So as you look at this, I'm gonna fold her over and then show you what I got done. And I worked in this area. So, see? Yeah. Oh, she's plugging along. Someone said in my comments, oh, Gabby, go lay down, please. Sorry, guys. I know you're hearing the click, click, click. Go lay down place. Um, someone asked me if I thought 2023 was going to be year to fin the year to finish. I hope so, but we'll see. We, I don't know. I don't, I, I have more joy stitching them in the season than focusing on, on like, get it done. So I, I know I will get to that point where I'm like, get it done. Because when I do get to that point, that's when you see me turn it into, that's already a daily 30 minute stitch. If you're new to my channel, I stitch on a queen for 30 minutes every day. And then I also put a length of thread or so into the, a piece that I designate and then I work on that till it's done. So Flea Market Flowers is the one that I am doing that on. I believe this will be finished by the end of September. So I'm stitching this on a 28 count Lugana Ecru by To Die For Fabrics. And I finished another square. I had to look, I was like, what I do? I finished another square. So. I finished this square this week. Looks so good. I like that. I am in that stage right now where I am in between like, I am done stitching. I, I wanna finish up some of my summer stuff, but I'm so ready for fall. Look, I'm so ready for fall, the autumnal colors. Oh, I love it. It's, it's my season. <laughs> and then I was looking to see what, pattern or what like projects I can pull out for the fall. And I don't have like a crazy amount of fall. So I have a feeling you're going to see starts, but I have like 33, 32 days till the wedding. So I don't know. There'll be late falls. Well, I know fall doesn't start till like the 23rd, 22nd. Anyway, it won't be till after the wedding. Cause I, I'll stress myself out. <laughs> My next piece that I'm stitching on is uh, hands on designs. Let's talk summer. And I think I finally got all the white done except for maybe some smeared crosses. So this is being stitched on 18 count dirty chalkboard by Be Stitch Me. And I got all the white done, I think. And I moved on into the red. So now I normally try to color complete. So I will go through and get all the red done. Like there's a barbecue thing here and there's part of a car that's red there. And then I'll pick a different color and it's just how I like. So... We'll see how that one progresses for us for next week. That can be very exciting. <laughs> All right, this next stitch I stitch on, um, every week I stitch on Mill Hill Monday. So Mill Hill Monday is my spring bouquet succulents pattern is what I've chosen. 
and this is where I'm at. Yes! I believe, if I remember correctly, let me look with you. I believe I am down to back stitching and beading. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe I'm back to, I'm down to back stitches and beading. So we'll see how much time I get on this. I usually do shoot for an hour. That's the minimum I want. And then we'll, when then I like let and see how I do for that. Or if I got extra time that day, but that's what I do for these, uh, themed days during the week. So my next one is wicked Wednesday where I'm stitching on the tidy modernist Halloween calendar, uh, Laura stitching by the shore is like in for the win. She's going to have this done before Halloween. So excited for you, Laura. I, on the other hand, and on number nine, this will not be done for Halloween. And you're going to be super excited with this. This is stitched on also 18 count dirty chalkboard left over from the Let's Talk series. I'm almost embarrassed to show this to you. All right, we're doing this. I have the box done for number nine. Yeah. The box. Oh well, folks, that's all the time I had this last Wednesday was time to stitch the box. I keep getting close because I, I I got stuff everywhere. Um, yeah, my next one is Festive Friday, and for Festive right now, we're doing Americana, so Pledge Allegiance by Designs by Lisa. And I am stitching this one on a 32 count Earl Grey by Grace Notes Fabrics. And this is where That was a good job, Dana. This is where she's at. And it's hard to see, but so here we are fully right now. I, I really, I'm itching to finish that box, but I don't. So this is what I got done. I stitched the inside of the, the flag and two of the white waves of the flag. That's what I got done this week. I'm stitching this with one thread except for the border. And um, I don't, if you're new here, you don't know, but I stitch in hand. So for whatever reason, this one's a little tight for me for stitching. So it I it takes me a hot minute. And I'm even with one thread, thread it, it takes me a little bit to work that fabric. But I like it. I love the color. I think it's a great choice for what I got going on. So, so I stick with it. So that's my stitching for this week. That's it. Um, I feel like I got a lot done, but at the same time, not so much. It was a, it was a very hectic week. And I'm hoping for not that this week, but we'll see. I have uh, plans, so my plans would be loving to get Let's Talk Summer done this week so that I can pull out the Hello Summer tree from Caterpillar Cross Stitch, but we will see. I'm not, I'm really trying to not put too much on myself. Again, wedding in just about a month. <laughs> um, and that's my daughter's wedding if you're new here. So I also participate, purchased, haven't started hands-on designs costume party. I hope to get that started this week. It should be not that hard. So I, I should be able to get it, but I did go out and buy the ink stamp that, um, Kathy suggested. That's one of the things It's like a new technique. It's an ink pad to where you're going to color my perforated paper. So I did, I was able to, to, uh, get the lavender one this weekend. So I will maybe stamp it this week. If I can't get started on it, we'll see. Um, all right, so that is that. Other than that, I don't, I don't make big plans. I have avoided my daughter's um, wedding stitch. Her and I got to work out one of the color details. Somebody made me, gave me a great suggestion of just using one of my variegated to, or a, a blend in order to do that top that was like giving me trouble. So um, her and I are gonna look into that. This picking colors is no joke. I am no designer. <laughs> I feel, oh, and here I am changing words, changing this, this, anyway. And someone asked for me for the, my pattern for the dog prints, um, for my, uh, stitch that I, if you're new here, you're not going to know what I'm talking about, but for Chester's place, I put paw prints across the bottom of it and, um, ask for my pattern. Unfortunately, I threw all that paperwork away once that I was done. But if you zoom in, I'll take a close up of it. If you zoom in, it's just like, it's a set little that I just came up with like however many stitches. You can use, you could stitch it off of what my pattern is. So um, I will try to put that on my Instagram, which is Janet Jabra Instagram on Instagram and get that. If not, 
send me a message either to janetjabber at gmail.com so I can send you that picture. I'm sorry. I do not remember who it was that asked it. And now I feel super bad. I'll look through my Instagram messages if that was it. All right. I'm rambling. Sorry. Not everybody cares about that issue. All right. I want to get into my haul, my, uh, my mail, and then my haul and all the things. So, uh, the, to wrap this up and then I'll talk about my personal life. So first of all, I want to thank Chrissy, um, who I stitch with. She got me a condolence card in regards to my wonderful, um, Ellie belly. I received a splash, a splash of sunshine from Robin. Thank you very much, Robin. That is probably the environment I need or will need after this wedding. All right. Now, speaking of um, goodness to share for me to either keep or give away, um, I received a package in the mail from Vicki and this beautiful card. She had reached out to me and asked me because I am collecting the... Um, Blackbird Designs uh, Anniversaries of the Heart series, um, what ones I still needed, and she had one of them that I needed, so she sent it my way with some other goodies. So um, this, she sent me number five, and then she sent me oops, some other goodies and told me to um, keep what I wanted and pass out or use them as giveaways for what I'm not interested in. So thank you very much, Vicki, for that. Um, again, that is what I point out is like, I have, I'm blessed with, um, goodness from people to where I can then share it with you and the buy me a coffee link helps with mailing. That's what it is. this next thing is a package that was sent to me from a dear friend, Fran, that she just repurposed the box, but she has a plethora of goodness for me to keep or give away. Um, so I have gone through it a little bit. I dropped something. I'm leaving it. Uh, for me to give away in my future video. So thank you very much for that, Fran. And then as far as haul goes, um, so I kind of knew I wanted to do this, but I was kind of putting it off. And then it was like, oh my gosh, Janet, um, some of there's some people that want to start stitching on something together October 1. And then when I went to look for it, like I couldn't find it anywhere. And one of those dear friends, Jessica found it for me. So I placed an order and I couldn't just order one thing. I ordered several. So, um, Stitchery Express is who sent this, who landed the fine for me. What I'm talking about, I'm doing for a stitch along is, um, Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs. So again, I'm collecting the Anniversary of the Heart series. So I grabbed, I couldn't just buy that one by itself because you know, you're paying for shipping. So I got number six number good job janet number nine for anniversaries of the heart and midnight midnight watch and i know laura and someone else are getting ready to do this as a stitch along i don't know have time to get that one started but oh that's a big old house and cat that's super cute yeah we'll see we'll see and last but not least and i haven't even looked through it my christmas ornament catalog from just uh just keep just cross stitch came in the mail. So I will be taking that to work with me and giving that a once over. So that showed up also. So that's my haul for this week. Um, besides, I think at my, when I was stitching with, uh, Chrissy, I picked up some threads. I know I did for my costume party, but I picked up some other ones too. So, but you know, I don't share that. Anyway, so that is, I'm looking at my notes to make sure I have everything. So that is all my stitching for this week. If you are not here to hear about personal stuff, then this is time to check out. So a uh, holiday weekend uh, was a great weekend around here. Um, Saturday, I worked my tail off. All the chores, all the errands, I tried to get all done so that Sunday I could reap the rewards of all the busy on Saturday and just sit, stitch, nap, relax. And I did. And Boy, did I need that day of doing that. Monday, had to work. I know it's a holiday, but uh, where I work, that's when, like, the work gets done. Like, when because they're not building trucks. So, that's when they can have us do PMs or any minor repairs that we need to do. So, I go into work. Um, but I work second shift. So, like, whatever. Um, so, that's that. My upcoming, this upcoming weekend is bridal shower. So that will be super fun. And um, one more week closer to the wedding. 
<laughs> all right, so that's all I have. It's not really a lot in personal stuff. Uh, it's just getting through week to week. So uh, day to day, week to week. Um, just what I am right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's I feel like I've been all over the place. I, I don't know. It's it's gloomy outside, so I have fake light here, and I feel a little off because of that, but whatever, people. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing great, so I'm going to get out of here and let you go on to the next video, so keep stitching. Enjoy life, and I'm sending you so much love. Bye.